to the spot. You down? Nah, man. I ain't messing with that one. Why? Let me tell you why. Let me stop. God in me. If God, what you talking about? Let me stop. God in me. He said God. What? Let me stop. God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, it's the God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to hold our head. It's time to be good, 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 and make the place good. Let me say, we're supposed to make sure that we know you as a father. I know you as a friend. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Of the goodness of God. Yeah. Woo. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. And I believe that we are in good business. Hallelujah. We're just clearing up some things, ladies and gentlemen, in the studio, brothers and sisters. Just making sure everything is right, right, right. What's up, y'all? What's up? It's, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm the Devil Slayer. And I'm Mrs. Devil Slayer. And you are listening to The Love Chapters on Positive Power 21 Radio Network. Shout outs to Jerry Royce, the Batman, our producer. Shout outs to all the um, Positive, Positive, Positive 21 Power. It's okay, uh, staff. Positive Power 21 family. Staff, colleagues, family. Yeah. That's Comrades, everybody here, the crew, crew, the gang, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some new people too that have come on board, and yes, they have some nice inspirational talk shows. I was mm-hmm. tuning in here and there, giving some encouragement. Apologies, we don't always get to tune in, but we want to encourage you, encourage you, encourage. Excuse me, y'all. Encourage you all as well as we all are laboring, um, in the body as we're laboring for the cause of Christ. So our hats tipped off to you all. And, um, you know, we continue to pray for you all as well on this journey. Amen. Amen. That's right. Because all our life, God has been faithful. All our lives, he has been so, so good. Every breath he has been faithful. Oh, we will declare about his goodness forever and forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come to you today, tonight, actually, on this Monday night, praising your name. We come to you tonight praising uh, your name because of the goodness that you have for us, the goodness that you put in Jesus to sacrifice his life on the cross. Oh, Father, oh, God, hallelujah. Thank you for his shed blood because without his shed blood, where will we be? Where will we be? We will be lost. We will be confused. We will be hell bound. But the Lord. Yes. But the Lord. Wasn't for the Lord. It was hallelujah. You have cleared us of our sins, our yes. iniquities, our infirmities. You have, you have cleared us of all the wrongdoing. You have cleared us of, 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 of the sniveling attack of Satan. You have cleared us from strongholds and high towers. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. You have put us in places that we should not be. You've given us homes that we did not build. Yes, hallelujah. You you put us in places where we weren't qualified yes, just Lord. because of your goodness. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Just because of your grace. Yes, Lord. So we thank you. thank you for this radio show where we get to promote the kingdom all over the world hallelujah we're global yes we are international and you said it father you told me that we would be able to have a platform like this once we get married and here we are what more what more? How 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 many more people have you blessed? Listen to this radio show. How many more people 
who don't even know that they're blessed are blessed and are about to be blessed have to be finished with this broadcast today. Yes. You're blessed, Jerry. You're blessed, uh, 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 Lady K and, and Reverend Red. You're blessed, Paula G. You're blessed, Ski. Paula Hallelujah. Oh. And you, you bless Paula Breon. You blessed. You bless everybody that's listening to this radio show right now is blessed. Hallelujah. Whether they're saved or not, because you gave us the power to save the unsaved. You gave us the power to make the blind see. You gave us the ability to break the chains that that where people where people are are bound. Uh, where 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 Satan had a a dominion over them and you sent us to clear out those scorpions and those and those snakes hallelujah to set the captives free amen 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 you 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 gave us the power yes, father god Lord, thank you for the and power we are, and, and we are ability. ecstatic we are joyous of, 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 of the abilities and the gifts and the anointings that you placed upon us father god hallelujah so that we can bless those who aren't blessed so we can bless the next generation so we can bless the, our next generations next generations next generations not just here but of course overseas to everybody listening to the sound of my voice hallelujah this is a new day and age but it's always the same jesus hallelujah mm -hmm. times might seem shaky times might seem like we're struggling but jesus is never struggling we are overcomers by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony so we're here to uh to thank you father god hallelujah, hallelujah and show you our gratefulness to you father yes, god and all that you've done for us and all that you will do for us hallelujah we're ready we're open to listen to what the man and woman of god have to say on this broadcast today which is us in christ yeshua jesus yeshua the messiah jesus christ king of king and lord of lords mighty and precious name we pray and we say amen, amen. And hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because all our lives we have been faithful. Mm. Mm. All our lives, you, you, God, you have been so, so good. Amen. Hallelujah. Every breath. Let's dig in the scripture. I, I don't, um, oh man, mm, 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 mm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I just can't, I can't begin to even quantify or, or logically fathom. equate or fathom how God does the things that he does. All I can say is second, what second Corinthians nine, eight says, God is able he is able. He is able. It says, it says in 2 Corinthians 9, 8, it says, and God is able to make all grace abound to you. Amen. Don't think for a second that God can't get the job done. I don't care what you're going through. Amen. Ladies and brothers and sisters, I want you to tune in your ear to what I'm about to say. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care for how many seasons you have to go through it. I don't care who you're going through it with. When the scripture says what it says, it cannot lie. I'm even going to go on and say when scripture says what he says, he, he, he is not a man that he should lie. He is not a man, so he can't lie. Mm. His word is the living embodiment, is the living embodiment of God of Jesus. Jesus is the word. That's right. That's what it says in scripture. Mm. That Jesus is the word. 
So if the word, so if he is telling you, hmm, the word is him talking to us, written down. So it's Jesus talking to us. So in 2 Corinthians 9, 8, Jesus is saying God is able. Jesus don't lie for nothing. This is God is able to make all grace abound to you. I mean, not the ESV. Okay. Jesus is telling you that whatever situation that you're going through, I don't care if the monkey is on your back. Mm -hmm. I don't care if the st if the stack of if the if, if the cards are stacked against you. Mm -hmm. I don't care if the bully is staring you in your face. I don't care if Goliath is right at your door telling you that you got an eviction notice. I don't care if the doctor says that you have stage 10 cancer. I don't care because the word of God is larger than your situation. That's right. So say the word of God is larger than my situation. Amen. Amen, amen. The word of God, say it. The word, the word of, God of God is larger than my situation. Is larger than my situation. Say the voice of God is larger than my situation. The voice of God is larger than my situation. Now say Jesus' word is larger than my situation. Jesus' word is larger than my situation. Now, somebody say, God is able. God is able. Look in the mirror and say, God is able. God is able. Whoever you're sitting next to, look at them and say, God is able. God is able. Whenever you have a situation, I don't care how many years that situation is, you repeat this to yourself because it's Jesus talking to you. Amen. The word who oh God, God has set it up. God has set this word up so lovely. Jesus is the word, right? Amen. So not only is Jesus the word, Jesus is in you, right? Amen. Jesus is the word, right? Yes, he is. So you get, so you get to read the word. Yes. And you, and you get to hear Jesus say it. Yes. God is able. So when, whatever, beloved, beloved, whatever situation that you are in, whatever issue that, that tries to abound over you, grace abounds over you more. Grace Amen. abounds over you more because Jesus said in 2 Corinthians 9, 8, with that being said, we can go home. That's it. It's radio show over. That's it. Go with that. Okay. Uh, your situation might be so horrible. You might even be out on the street. I remember I remember at one point I was going to um soup kitchens. Right? Saying God is able. Amen. Okay? When when we was going to the soup kitchens, right? Um the uh the the directors who were running the soup kitchens uh, was amazed because I would be praying over the food. And they would come to me and say, uh, you think you could come back and, you know, pray for everybody? And, and they were actually trying to have me volunteer to like help out in the kitchen just because they saw me pray. Mm -hmm. When I was praying, I was, I was, I was canceling out the simple fact that I did not have Right, that 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 I did not have certain things, mm -hmm. but I just knew that it wasn't going to be forever. Mm -hmm. That there was an expiration date on everything that I was going through because I had etched on my heart that God is able. So I'm saying this to you, believers. I'm saying this to you, future believers. God is able. Amen. And the only way that you're going to know this, I say this almost in every, uh, every broadcast that we have, always go to Matthew 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added onto, on, 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 unto you. 
Okay, so God, uh, God's grace is always added unto you in order to recognize what is added onto you, you have to go to the word. Okay, now so so we've been we've been uh for the last month and a half, maybe two months, we've been talking about uh marriage. Yeah, and have. the goodness of marriage mm -hmm. and the and the beautifulness of marriage. Mm -hmm. You won't know about the goodness of marriage, you won't know about the beautifulness of marriage. That's not even the word beautifulness, but you <laughs> won't even know about the beautifulness of marriage until you read the word of God and then apply what the word of God is saying. Mm -hmm. So we're taking a little a pit stop on our on our series of, of marriage uh, and the art of um, uh, war on divorce mm -hmm. to talk about the goodness of God. Even though we talk about the goodness of God in there, we just want to take a, out a pit stop and give a couple of testimonies on the great things that God is doing for us. Because we come in here and we, we talk about the 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 mishaps and, and and hiccups so why not talk about the goodness of god as well amen amen mm -hmm. all right so um let's dig in all right so always seek the kingdom first when you seek the kingdom first you go to god you yes. pray to god all right uh six thirty three. right you pray to god uh you go to god you seek him first mm -hmm. That's one way. Another way is to go to the Word. Go to the Word and look up some things concerning your situation. My One of my situations happens to be debt. I'm admitting it. Pastor Dwayne had debt issues. Okay? Now, most of the debt stems from my past uh, before I was saved. Okay, uh, in, in stating that, um, I had some large debt <laughs> in the tune of over $100,000, okay? And uh, it, that was that's bondage, okay? Let's go to Proverbs 22, verse 7, okay? This is deep now. Let's go to Proverbs 22, verse 7, babe. Do you mind reading? The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is the slave of the lender. So here we are. Here we are. I'm a pastor, pastor in this word, preaching this word, and, um, and I was a slave. Okay? I owed a lot of money. And it was all out of my own mistakes. All right. And I'm not afraid to say this. All right. Uh, but it was causing problems uh, uh, in my life. And um, I remember, not to be too descriptive, but I was in the shower. And the, in, in the showers where I... Talk to God the most. You're in perfect communication with the Father. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I, I really get to. I don't know. Some about the water, you know, washing away the sins or whatever. I don't know. You know, just washing away everything. Where I get it, where I, where I'm clear. There's, there's certain times when I get a, a really good word from Father, or, or where I could just. It's like I'm, I'm bearing all. You know, mm -hmm. it's when I first wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's when um, I take a shower, and sometimes it's when I'm just alone and nobody's around. That's when I can hear from Father the most, okay? Uh, so I, I have conversations with Daddy. I have conversations with Daddy, just like I have conversations with anybody else, but it's more open. It's like, it's like there's no, there's no uh, censorship there. And so I remember this scripture, the rich rules over the poor and the borrower is the slave of the lender. So I'm like, wait a minute, God, am I a slave? And, and, and cause I'm owing somebody. And it says in Romans 13 verse eight, it says, 
owe no one anything. Right? So I'm thinking as I'm in the shower, I got I just got what uh I mean it's not the correct word, but if you call it an epiphany. <laughs> what a, a revelation. But, a revelation. But this wasn't a, a revelation. This was just like an aha an aha moment. Yes, that's perfect. Where I said, Oh my God. I'm in debt. I'm in big debt. I'm like, but isn't that hypocritical, God? I'm like, hey, I'm a pastor, but I'm hypocritical. I'm being a hypocrite or whatever the case. I don't know if I am, but I, I'm, I'm like, wow. And then he said to me, and I'm trying to remember the exact words. I might, might not remember the exact words, but he said something along. Oh, I remember I said to him, I said, I said, Daddy, you got to do something about this debt. <laughs> That's what I said to him. I said, Daddy, you got to do something about this debt because I'm not supposed to. I mean, we were supposed to be your cho chosen children. I'm supposed to be a, a lender, not a borrower. Barefoot and free. Yeah, you know. So, but then, I, but then I said to myself, I was like, I had to remember. Oh, I caused the debt. So I said, I said, I bear it all. I said, okay, God, you know what? I'm at fault. I caused this debt. I can't blame you. I can't blame blame Satan. I do blame the institutions that manipulated my mind to make me get the debt because I was young at the time and, and unknowing, but you know what? I'm not going to do what Adam did and pass the buck. I said, I admit it, God. I admit it and I repent. I'm the one that caused this debt. Uh, and I was like, Daddy, if there's any way where... Um, you can help me pay it off. I said, I will pay off this debt because I want a brighter life for me and my wife and my generations to come. Amen. You want to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to kind of highlight mm -hmm. how your prayer or your communications with the Father shifted. Mm -hmm. You went from basically telling God, you need to fix this. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then after when you got your aha moment, it was mm -hmm. almost like he checked you and like, wait a minute, son. Uh -huh. And how you went from that posture to a, a, <laughs> a posture of humility and humbleness. And you asked him to help you fix what it is that you made a mistake or your past. I love that. And I think a lot of times that is an example of the beautiful exchange of communi communicating with the father and mm -hmm. how he can change our attitude and our mindset. Um, I just think that that's beautiful. I know I, I go through that and I'm sure there are others that can relate to that sort of um, shift and transfer of communication. You get changed when you're talking to the father, you get changed. However you go in, you come out differently with whether it's an aha moment, a revelation, a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge. You don't come out the same way when you spend time. It's not a waste of time when you spend time communing and fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. You know, that, that leads me right to the next scripture, Romans 12, 3, because this is what I did when I caught the aha moment. It humbled me. And that's just what it says. Romans 12, 3 says, for by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, I, 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 but to think with sober judgment. Of course, it, th th this was referring to people not judging each other too, too highly, but uh, too harshly. But in a sense, um, it, so it means to humble yourself. Okay, I had to humble myself in that moment. So I went from, God, you got to do this, man. You got to take care of me to, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I I kind of like really did it to myself. So I had to really come down off of that and realize that um, I needed to shift. I needed to shift. I did not want to be like Adam who tried to pass the buck, right? So I said to him, Lord, if there's a way for me to pay it back, then show me. <laughs> 
I almost envision him saying, very good, Martin. Yeah, very good. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Humble is the way. <laughs> uh-huh, mm-hmm. I said, show me what I need to do to, um, to get out of this debt because I want to, uh, I want to have my generations uh, prosper. I want to have our life prosper, you and me, babe, and then our generations, generations prosper. And so Psalms 115, 14 says, may the Lord give you increase, you and your children. Okay, so if I'm in debt, you know, I, I want my I want my children's children's children to be able to be blessed. Mm-hmm. Amen. And I can't be blessed all in all of this debt. So I said, God, make a way. Make a way for me to pay it back. Okay? So then um I got another aha moment. I was like, okay, well, I know I, I know I know I have this bill to pay, that bill to pay. We have these bills and 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 you can lay testament to that testimony to that as well as remember when i got on the phone to i said okay hey we have this bill that bill this bill and that bill we could pay this on this this on that that on this and that on that remember remember when i remember when i when i called you and i said hey babe we got these bills and we need to pay this off that off this so we can put this much on this this much on that this much on that remember that yes right okay because he was giving me uh the download yeah he was downloading what i could do to get out of this debt okay so so your aha moment was actually a word of wisdom word of knowledge yes yes so so um uh so as so so as i am remembering the scripture oh no man anything mm-hmm. right um I'm, I'm saying okay well this is what we can do to get out of debt and boom 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 pay that up pay boom 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 it says in proverbs 13 verse 22 a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous okay so a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children that's what i wanted to that's i'm like okay let me get on my game with god and let him lead me out. So I'm thinking, okay, let's pay this bill. Let's pay that bill. So I called you up and boom. Uh, and so one of the bills that I'm in debt with $100,000, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to make a payment to them mm-hmm. as well, mm-hmm. which I did faithfully. Okay. So um, in Deuteronomy 28, verse 1, what does it say? It says, babe, you want to read that? And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord, uh-huh. your God, being careful to do all his commandments uh-huh. that I command you today, uh-huh. the Lord, your God, will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All right. And what does it say? What's the next line? And all, all these, these blessings, blessings shall come upon, upon you and, and overtake, overtake you. And if you, you obey, obey the, the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord your God. God. Right? So... I was, I was, I was doing what God told me to do. I did it so much to the point of, I was listening to His voice. Of whenever I was coming across a needy person, a person who was asking for money, I was giving them the money as the Lord told me. All right. I literally was, and. At some points, he was telling me to give everything in your pocket. I was like, oh, Lord. I'm like, Lord, but if you uh, just give it. And I, and I just grabbed my pocket, grab whatever it is, and bam. I, went, I remember one, at one point, I, sometimes I only had change in my pocket, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember this guy, one, this homeless person, he said, um, he asked me for 35 cents. Mm-hmm. So the Lord said, give him everything in your pocket. So when I pulled out all the change, I had a handful of change. And I said, okay, so I got all this handful of change, but I'm just going to give you 35 cents because that's what you asked for. And the Lord said, give it. <laughs> and I said, but the Lord said, give you this whole thing. So here. And I said, remember, Jesus loves you. He was like, he was just looking at all the change that I gave him. 
And I was like, Lord, let me get away from this guy. I'll take it all back. <laughs> Glory to God. So I then, I, I was listening to God. I was listening. I was so akin to his voice. Okay. Whatever he told me to do that I did, I did it. Okay. So this is where it gets good. This is where it gets gooder. That's not a word, but I'm using it. Gooder. He, so I got on the phone to mm -hmm. pay back this $100,000 debt. Right. Pay a portion of it, whatever the amount was, okay? Okay. And this debt had been looming over me before you even met me. You know about that, right? Mm -hmm. But I never I never made it. That's I could tell that my wife is for me. Because <laughs> I remember I told some women uh, in the past, hey, you know, I got this $100,000 debt, da 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 and uh they did not stick around they did this this one lady said hey listen hold on i'm gonna call you back okay and she never called me back <laughs> okay she did the 21 skidoo yeah she did the 22 <laughs> she did the 22 skidoo 20, <laughs> she did the 20 21 skidoo minus plus one <laughs> she did the 22 skidoo on here <laughs> and she skated okay bottom line but wifey's stuck around and that's not the reason why I married her, but that just let me know that she's down with the goodness of God. So uh, she 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 just said, okay, well, that, that 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 ain't nothing but a thing, you know. And uh, so she's with me to this day, and we met over seven years ago, or uh, seven years ago approximately, and uh, we're still together, banging it out. So I just diligently went to pay the bill. So got on the phone with the um, representative. And uh, it wasn't begrudgingly that I did it, okay? I just, I, I just knew that it's my duty to pay off these bills because I've been talking to God about, you know, doing the right thing and getting these bills paid off. And so I got on the phone with her, and she went to my account, and she kind of said in a fast language what I did not understand, but she basically said that... Um, you don't owe anything anymore. And I was like, wait, what? Can wait, we... what? And I was like, uh, I said, look at that record again. Okay. She said, okay. She said, but as of this year, you don't owe anything anymore. So I, I was like, no, no, I think you better check that again. Try, try this year. And so she went back and she tried that year. No, you don't owe anything for that year neither. I was like, well, maybe you should look in your records because something is not right. And I just want to make a payment. She's like, uh, sir, you don't have to make another payment. In fact, we got to pay you. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, we owe you $300. I'm like, are you uh, sure? You didn't tell me that part. Yeah. I, 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 I was like, are you sure? She was like, yes, you don't owe anything. I had a supervisor look up. I said, it has to be some type of glitch. But the bottom line was, is that God took care of me. Mm. He oh, took yeah. care of the $100,000, the over $100,000 debt that I God had. Glory. Hallelujah. Remember what it said in Deuteronomy? And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord, oh, your God, how was I able to obey, obey the, the Lord? How was I able to, because I sought him first. I sought the kingdom first in the, remember when I said at the beginning, God is able mm -hmm. in the beginning. I'm saying God is able. He is able. He is able. But all you have to do is listen to him. When you listen to him, he can make things happen. You have to be in a place of the anointing. And he guides you to the place of the anointing that he set and played for you since the beginning of time. Mm. Okay. So you have to, you have to go to him. You have to, so that he can lead you to the places where the blessing is so that he can lead you to the places where, uh, 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 where the, where you can become a lender and not a borrower, okay? He wants to clear out your debt. He wants to clear out whatever disease is upon you. 
He wants to clear out whatever negative condition is upon you. He wants to clear out the bully that's in front of you. He wants to clear out the Goliath that's in front of your door with the eviction notice. He wants to clear out the lawyers who's greedily stealing the money out your pocket. He wants to clear out your back hurting you. He wants to clear out your liver giving you issues. He wants to clear out giving the headache that you have. He wants to clear out your poverty. He wants to clear out your lack. He wants to clear out when you uh, don't know where you're goings and your comings are. He wants to clear out the confusion in your life. He wants to clear out the chaos in your life. He wants to clear out uh, 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 the strong man in your life. He wants to clear out the stronghold in your life. He wants to clear out the high talent in your life. He wants to clear out uh, the, 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 the issues um, and, the, and, and the dirtiness that's going on in, in your marriage out of, out of your marriage, okay? He wants to clear out your stinking thinking. He wants to clear clear the 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 the, the raping mentality that you might have. He wants to clear out the criminality mentality that you might have. He wants to clear out the procrastination spirit in you. He wants to clear out the lazy spirit in you. He wants to clear out the the, the Sodom and Gomorrah spirit out of you. He wants to clear out the gang spirit out of you. He wants to clear out ineptitude out of you. He wants to clear out uh, a low self-esteem out of you. He wants to clear out uh, insecurity out of you. He wants to clear out the witchcraft out of you. He wants yeah, to clear out you, the, the 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 spells that have been cast over you. He wants to clear out the plot that's been cast over you. He wants to clear out the snake and the scorpion from your life. Yes, he wants Lord. to clear out the, the 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 young lion out your life. He wants to clear out the black adder from your life. Yes, he wants Lord. to clear out the Jezebel spirit that's upon your life. He wants to clear out Leviathan from your life. He wants to clear out any negative uh, 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 condition of the mind, body, and soul that has ever been beset upon you. He wants to clear out that generational curse from you, woman of God. He wants to clear out that um, that gossip spirit um, um, from you and off you, man of God. Mm -hmm. He wants to clear out the argumentative spirit, that rebellious, disgusting spirit that's running around with these young folk and old folk from you, children of God. Mm. Hallelujah. He wants to do all of this for you and he can do this for you. It says in Isaiah, arise, shine your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, child of God, yes, upon, and his glory will be seen upon you, woman of God. A man of God and nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of, of your rising. rising. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So I declare Amen. and decree that men, women, children, institutions, corporations, schools, your jobs, businesses favor you because the because God favors you in all that you do. Hallelujah. You are going to be put in a place where you can leave a, a, a bountiful uh, inheritance for your children's children. Hallelujah. And all you have to do is seek the kingdom of God and know that God is able. Hallelujah. God is able. Amen. It says here that the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But it says, I, that's Jesus talking, I came that they may have life and have it more abundantly. He came so you can have life more abundantly. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And he wants you to do it without uh, being in bondage to debt. Yes. So I'm here to tell you that your debt can be taken away. It might not be now. It might not be instantaneous. But when it comes, it's going to be and suddenly, just like he did for me. So guess what? I can take whatever whatever I was paying towards the debt and start helping other people with it. Pay off the rest of the debt that I got, which is pennies compared to whatever, what to, to, to that thing. Yeah. And we can start paying off the other debt and we can start putting it into the ministries to go back out there and helping feed the homeless, um, clothe the homeless, uh, 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 and give to whoever needs because it says here in Romans 12 3 for 
by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that, 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 that's the wrong scripture, to go to 2 Corinthians 8, 9, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you, by his poverty, might, might become, become rich. rich. How do you become rich? First, you become rich in the word. You become rich. And then you become, first you become rich in the word. Mm -hmm. Then you become rich in all the spiritual blessings that he has for you. And that, and all that is spiritual now, but then it manifests into the physical just so that you can help others, just so that you could be a blessing to others. But what you have to do as an access, you but I do not account my life of any value, nor as pressure to myself, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus Christ. He has instituted in us to set the captives free, to help the needy, to do what, to make the blind see. That's our ministry, to bring people to salvation. Yeah. It says here, and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. This is what the grace of God does. He gets rid of your debt. He gets rid of your infirmities. He gets rid of your iniquities. And you can then bless others with it as well. Amen. And that's why all of my life, he has been faithful. And that's what I want to do. I want to be faithful to him. Because all our lives you have been so, so good. Mm-mm. Oh, all I will sing of the goodness of God. All this grace. Oh, we will see. Of the goodness of his grace. And all his glory. Oh, oh, we will see. Of the goodness of his glory. And his love. Oh, we will see. Of the goodness of his love. Amen, amen, amen. This is the time. He can do the same for you. If you're in debt. If you're in jail. If you, uh, if you're in a hospital bed, if you're on the sick bed, if your marriage is on the rocks, if uh, you got pain coursing through your body, you need healing. If you being bullied by somebody in school, if you having anxiety or worry issues because you have to take some tests. If the if the if the marshals are coming to your door tomorrow because you can't pay your rent or your mortgage, if you're going bankrupt, if your company is going belly up, then you need Jesus, and He can be your brother, help to lead you out of the trials and tribulations that you are facing. You might be in, you might get into a child tribulation. He will get get you out. Whatever tribulation you're facing, God can do the erasing in time. Amen. Let's repeat these words after me. If you want salvation, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I don't want to sin anymore. And I don't want to sin anymore. I recognize, I recognize that Jesus that Jesus came into uh, uh, that Jesus sacrificed his life sacrificed his life on the cross on the cross for me for me for my sins for my sins for my iniquities for my, iniquities, for my, injuries, for my injuries for my infirmities for my infirmities for my ineptitude for my ineptitude and I want him to come into my life and I want him to come into my life to shape me, shape me hold me hold and mold and me into what you got into what you God want me to be. Want me to and be. at the same time, at the same time I, repent, I repent, which means which I make a 180 degree change, I make 180 degree change to, do to do what was to do what's right, to do what's right and not what's wrong anymore. 
It's not wrong anymore. And to be led by you, God. And to be led by you, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you for having God, Jesus. Thank you for having Jesus. Enter my life. Enter my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 If you and said hallelujah. that prayer, you're saved. That's it. You don't have Welcome to go to, to a the church. Of God. Right. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to go um, and, and say a hundred Hail Marys at the pre with the priest. You're saved. And what says, does that mean? You're a new creature in Christ. You're born again. Old things have passed. Behold, all things are new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You soon be singing all my life. You have been faithful. Amen. 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 So, um, we, 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 we're great that you took the, we're, we're happy that you took the plunge up. We are joyous. And you, um, if you have any, if you need any information, if you need, uh, somebody to pray with, if you need somebody to help you understand scripture, Reach us at UFL Ministries, INCL at gmail.com. You can also DM us on IG. We are at the Love Chapters P O D. Also at Dwayne the Pastor and at Mrs. Double Slayer. Reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. And in the meantime, the art of war on divorce is on sale now. It's available now on Amazon as well. You can also reach out to us if you'd like a paperback. Yeah, that's right. What she said. And the last thing I want to do, I have a cousin um, who he is him and his wife have opened uh, up a business of health, help healing people. Um, and he uh, is in need of a grant and he has the wherewithal to get the grant and he's looking for your help uh, to help to get the grant. Uh, you can reach out to him on the gram. His name is Sean Heimlich, okay? Um, I'm going to be posting that on my wall. His name is Sean Heimlich. And it's it's called uh, Can You Help Ashanti? Okay, uh, uh, it's 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 a wonderful thing that they're doing. It's so that uh, Ashanti is A S H A N T I, and they so they're trying to get a loan. It's, Kiva is a loan, not a donation, and all they need it, you can you can give uh, twenty five dollars to this institution. Uh, uh, and it'll make a big change in somebody's life because they're all about healing people. They have a wonderful uh, business going on. Okay, so reach out to Sean Heimlich. It's uh, uh, the the gram is Sean and that's Heimlich. H I M L E C H to find out more about it. It's a wonderful business, and um, they're helping. They're helping. Uh, save lives. Spell the song okay. The whole entire name. I, I did. S H O N H I M L E C H. Sean Heimlich. DM him. Okay, guys, and and on the gram. Amen. All right. So listen, we love you so much. And only God, God. Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, let me tell you why. Let me stop. God in me. It's God you're talking about. Let me stop. God in me. He said God. Let me stop. God in me. God. You know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Let me stop. God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus told the child to hold down, hold the strong, hold, 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 h
on Calvary to save someone like me. Have you heard about his groaning of his precious blood atoning? And if you repent of all your sins, you'll win the victory. Got the victory, yes I do. I'm walking in victory. 